and the next type of image that we are going to explore is grayscale image so first of all let me write the code to import the grayscale image so here we are reading grayscale image and then we are showing the grayscale image so now let's run this section and understand everything about grayscale image basically a grayscale image is an image that consists of shades of gray ranging from black to white unlike in color image it does not have red green or blue channels instead each pixel has single value representing its brightness or intensity you can see here we have xy pixel info and then after the intensity when i hover over here 49 by 165 is the location of that pixel and 15 is the intensity at that pixel if we move to the brighter part the intensity will move towards 255 see this so now see here a grayscale image is stored as 2d matrix in matlab each element in the matrix corresponds to a particular pixel in image the value of the matrix element determines the intensity of light at that pixel the intensity value ranges in between 0 to 255 when the value is towards 0 let's say here it is 9 so 0 indicates pure black and when the intensity is near 255 it represents pure white that means maximum light and the intermediate values represents the shades of gray here it's 158 so different shade of gray 184 a different shade of gray 91 a different shades of gray so by creating this type of variations in intensity we can differentiate objects why because human vision perceives different shades of gray based on the brightness of light a grayscale image is a digital simulation of this perception where brightness is encoded as numeric intensity of value and that we can see over here even this grayscale images are also very useful it just simplifies the process because there is no need of color so it will require less storage space this is also very much useful in age detection and object recognition even this is useful in medical segment also where we used to take x-ray mri ct scan to represent variations in tissues density and i think all of us has observed x-rays right so it is a type of grayscale image so after this we are going to explore another type of image 